Hey, Prof G here. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration of a ganglion cyst aspiration. So if you haven't checked out my video on how to create a ganglion cyst, be sure to check that out before you watch this video. So the materials we're gonna need for this procedure are our pig skin that already has the ganglion cyst that we created uh, buried under the skin. Uh, we're gonna need some uh, something to cleanse the skin with, like iodine. Uh, we're gonna need a syringe with probably an 18 gauge on it uh, for aspirating, maybe some gauze. Uh, now this is a sterile procedure. I don't have any sterile gloves, so I'm gonna use these gloves in, in place of that. I also have some other kind of tools uh, that I would get from like a suture kit and I have a fenestrated drape, which would be in our sterile field. Um, and I'm gonna try to improvise on that since I don't have an intact suture kit uh, to create that sterile field effect. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let me go ahead and first put on my gloves. Remember, this would be uh, just the wall, the wall gloves that we get off while we're getting everything set up. Okay, and so the first thing I'm gonna do is cleanse the wound. So I'm gonna open up my iodine sticks. Make sure to ask your patient if they are allergic before you use iodine. I'm gonna start from the center and kind of work my way out and discard. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. Make sure the skin's nice and clean. And one more time. Alrighty. Uh, then I'm gonna draw up my numbing uh, materials. So I don't have numbing and I don't wanna damage the uh, little ball that we have under the skin here, but I would draw it up and I would make a little wheel. So you wanna stick it just underneath the skin, not inserting it into the cyst itself, but draw it and inject and you'll see a little wheel form of, of anesthesia right where you're gonna be injecting um, the 18 gauge needle. So you wanna numb that up really well give it a time to sit in and then ask the patient, you know, can you feel that? Can you feel that before you get started? Um, some patients elect to just have the procedure without the anesthesia. Um, you can just, since you're just gonna be doing one poke and an aspiration, you don't necessarily have to put anesthesia, but I tend to offer it to all of my patients. So once we're done with that, we would get our sterile suture kit um, and we would open it up, we would put on our sterile gloves, and then we would grab our fenestrated drape. So I'm gonna show you my fenestrated drape here. Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of cover up everything that is not what I wanna work on. So I'm just gonna cover this up here. Now my hands would be then sterile in this area, and that's what I would wanna see here. So, all right. So I can see that there's the ganglion cyst. I can kind of feel it. Then I want to get my, I would use either a 5 or 10 cc syringe depending on how big the ganglion cyst is. I'm going to put an 18 gauge needle on it um, to use for aspiration because the, the material that's within these ganglion cysts is pretty viscous. And then I'm ready to go. The patient is nice and numb and I'm ready to uh, go ahead and proceed. So I'm just going to move this so that y'all can see. I'm going to go bevel up and I'm gonna make sure there's no air in my syringe. I'm gonna insert into the ganglion cyst and feel a little pop, a little give. And once I'm in there, I start withdrawing and you'll see the cysts start getting smaller and the gel start filling up, the jelly substance start filling up our syringe, okay? And kind of squeeze a little bit. Good, and we have majority of what was inside of that cyst. And then once we're done with that, we can withdraw the needle. Now, if we were going to be injecting something like a steroid within the cyst to help prevent it from recurring, we could do so uh, by you know, undoing this needle and then um, attaching the syringe with the medication to administer it. Um, so you could do that sort of like this. If you have trouble unlocking it, you could grab a pair of hemostats and uh, kind of hold it in place. So I'll do that quickly. So you can kind of hold this so that you can undo this part and set that aside. And then if you had, <clears throat> let's say you had some, uh, um, some steroid in this syringe, uh, then you could hold it 
in place, uh, attach it on there, and then inject the steroid and then remove the needle. Um, and so that's how you would aspirate and you could also um, inject steroid if you wanted to uh, within a ganglion cyst. Um, and that is it, that's the procedure. So if you like this procedure, if you like doing procedures at home and you want more ideas of how you can practice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next video.